Hey, what's up everybody? This is Johnny King from Merch Guild and today I want to thank you for checking out Merch Lister Pro and give you a really quick uh, just snapshot view of what it can do for you and help you upload your merch shirts faster. And so uh, we'll jump right into this. So here I have my Merch Lister Pro demo shirt up on Amazon and I'm wanting to uh, you know upload this really quickly. And so regularly whenever I go into the, the menu I'll have to go and I'll have to select some colors. Um, and I already have some pre-selected here. I did this before. Um, but so uh, you know, what would make this process faster for me? So I'm going to show you. Uh, Merch Lister Pro will do that. So if you click on your Merch Lister Pro icon up here, it'll open the extension. And so you'll see a lot of things here. Don't let them confuse you. We're, we won't go over those all right now. Uh, if you buy the extension, I make a really long, in-depth tutorial to show you how to use all these features to their fullest. Um, but right now, we'll just show you, you know, the, the high-level view. So the first thing you want to do with Merch Lister Pro is build some profiles. And there's two ways to do that for the different things. So uh, if you go to Open Colors over here, it's going to open the Color Selector tool. And we're going to add a profile and this is going to allow you to select your color profiles really quick, quickly. So we'll make a couple of those for this demo. So we'll say dark, uh, we'll put a shortcut, we'll say A and then we want it to choose uh, all of the fit types and we'll say we want these five colors and hit save and then we want one more. Um, we'll say that one's going to be a, a light color. We'll say that the shortcut for that's S and let's say we only want this for women and youth so we'll go pick five colors or you can pick four colors you don't have to pick up five colors and then we have the colors selected okay awesome and then we want a profile so if we go back to merch we want to add a, a listing profile and what this is going to do is going to give you the opportunity to build a profile using this um, and this is going to save all your listing data so it can input it with just a you know one keystroke so we'll say brand name is just a MLP uh, test Oh, uh, demo title and for this the, Q, the shortcut we'll say is Q and list price let's say we want to go 23.97 bullet 1 cool bullet 2 and then we're going to leave the description out because it has to be at least 75 characters but uh, it'll copy in your extension too alright so now you have a profile built um, so now that you have a listing data profile and a color profile that's all you need to get started so if we go back over to our merch platform here there's two ways you can use your profiles um, you can right click and go to uh, the color selector tool and if you click on light it'll change it to light put in all your information that you wanted so this one's only women and youth and the light colors or you can go to color selector tool and hit dark and it'll do all three with your dark colors um, but say you want to go a little bit faster than that alright well we put in these keyword uh, the, the shortcuts so you can just click on this data field down here so it knows you, uh, you're you on the right page and press A. Yep, actually A is the dark one so you press S and it'll move you over to the, the light one. And you press A and you can move over to the dark. Now uh, you can actually adjust how fast that shortcut will time out um, in case you want to make really long shortcuts if you want it to be a whole word. So let's say uh, you want this one to be um, short or let's say like the one for this is light. Okay and we will make the timeout for that about 200 milliseconds so that's a uh, two tenths of a second and so if you just go here and hit light it just pushes right across uh, if you go back to you know the A it'll go to the dark ones so we'll, we'll go to the dark ones here and then we are on our listing page so remember our keyboard shortcut was Q so you just hit Q and it will input that data for you and you're ready to go hit save and move on to the next one uh, conversely you could also right click um, go down Merchless Pro and it will let you select from all of your titles if you don't want to, if you don't want to select from the titles when you're on the main profile page here you can toggle this switch to where it will uh, select from brands instead um, so instead of saying MLP oh, I had that backwards so instead of being a brand it'll be a title so MLP test was our brand demo title is our title so now that it switched over to title if you go to Merch Lister Pro it says demo title there we go um, and that, that's how Merch Lister Pro has been for a while and uh, and that's a really great time saver and I feel like I have hundreds of super raving reviews for just that functionality but we just made it better in, a, in an amazing way um, and so one is you you can export a CSV and you can build profiles in a CSV and then import them back into the extension. Um, so you don't have to make these profiles by hand all the time if you don't want. Um, but the easiest way I think to do it is to use our new uh, Merch Listing uh, Merch Pro data machine. Um, so it's called the Merch Listing Data Machine and what it does is it allows you to put information into these keyword uh, panels or keyword fields 
and it will build the profiles for you using a template. So the template down here, um, you know, for the standard shirt, it's going to say whatever you put in as a title, shirt, and then the bullet point one will say our title. So our main keyword t-shirt is the perfect t-shirt for keyword two. And so it's going to substitute all your keywords into these. And you can change these as much as you want. And uh, But by default, this is what it comes with. And then you can change it for the premium shirt and the long sleeve shirt. And so it goes through like that. Um, so let's say for our Merch Lister Pro, we're going to say our brand name is, uh, yeah, we'll say it's MLP Demo. We'll say brand. And then you'll notice as I'm typing in over here in the character count field, it's keeping track of how many characters are in each of these fields for each of the different products to make sure that whenever you build a profile that the, you know, the maximum character length is still being, you know, kept. And so if we say Merch Lister Pro really long title for the demo you'll see how on some of these it starts to turn red and that lets you know that you know it, it's over the maximum 60 character length that you can use in the title and so you want to shorten that up a little bit or you can go through and say all right in the long sleeve we're going to change the title to where it has a little bit uh, less character usage and so uh, it'll it'll meet what we need so we'll go ahead and just say merchless to pro demo title and we'll, and we'll pick some keywords. So we'll say uh, MLP, uh, uploading to Merch, uh, Merch by Amazon, and making money. It's going to be our keywords. All right, cool. And so now um, you can look, go down here at the very bottom of this page and see the previews. And you can go through and you can read all of these. And so you know it says, you know, our Merch Lister Pro demo title t-shirt is the perfect t-shirt for MLP fans. Uh, you know, people who love uploading to merch, merch by Amazon, or making money will love this T-shirt. Um, and then it has you know this this you know generic description. And so all you want to do, all you have to do now is either import these or pin these, which is basically the same thing. If you import, what it's going to do, it's going to have this little override thing. It says, hey, it's imp uh, if you import this, it's going to override your current profiles. Are you sure you want to do this? And it's like, oh well, no, I just built a profile and I really like that one. It, it's really cool. Let's go ahead and cancel that and append these. And what appending does is it's going to add these profiles that we just created with the data tool. Uh, it's going to add those to the end of the list here in Merchless to Pro. Um, and so you see that we have this first one we made and then uh, the ones we just made through the data machine. All right, and then you'll see this is highlighted right here. It says check for duplicated shortcuts. So you notice, okay, um, my keyboard shortcut for the, the profile we made before is the same as one that was made with the data machine. And so um, it's not going to work correctly. Um, it's still going to pull it up, but if you go into Merch Lister Pro and you want to upload this one, whenever you hit a keyboard shortcut, uh, the Chrome extension will search from the top to the bottom of the list. And so it'll actually pull the one that's at the highest on the list. So we'll just change this one. And we'll say this one is QA and hit that. And then um, I'll explain all these other features, uh, you know, later on in the explainer video. But so now we have, um, you know, our six profiles. And so we have Q and I want to, since these are really quick profiles, I'm going to make that shortcut timeout as fast as possible. So we can cycle through these really quick. And so now when I go on here, um, you'll see if I right click, it's going to show all my different profiles that we just made. And then um, if we want to use the shortcuts, I can just cycle through here and say, you know, Q is for shirt, W is for premium shirts, E is for long sleeve shirts, R is for sweatshirts, and T is for hoodies. Oh, there we go. T is for hoodies. Um, and that way, whenever I'm going through and I'm uploading all my products, what I like to do is open five different create panels or, or tabs in Chrome. I'll upload the same image or design to all five. You know, for the hoodie one, I want to put, you know, obviously the one that has the hoodie dimensions. But then as I go through, I can go through, and, like, and I'll, I'll select the colors I want for each one and then go back to the beginning. And then I'll go through here and just, like, open a tab, press Q, open a tab, press W, open a tab, press E, and move over and move over. And I can upload five shirts in probably about two minutes, two and a half minutes. And so it's cutting my, my merch <clears throat> uploading time. Um, for me right now, um, I upload about 100 designs per day. And so it's cutting that time down from you know two and a half hours when I was doing it manually to around 30 minutes, um, 40 minutes maybe at the max. Um, so that that's it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, send me a Facebook message, uh, or you could join my Facebook merch group. It's called Merch Guild, and I'm happy to answer any questions in the group. But uh, yeah, that's Merch Lister Pro. I'm sure that it, it can help you out a lot. It can save you lots of money and lots of time. And uh, thanks for taking taking a look. Take care.